Good morning everybody. We've got a new book today, so some different animal stories. Popsy's going to read the first one. And this is a story from Africa, or from Kenya in Africa, and it's called Ten Little Ostriches. Ostrich was very proud of her ten new chicks. All day she preened them and fussed over them and told them how perfect they were. You may be little fluff balls now, she said, but remember, you are fine ostriches when you grow up and you'll have beautiful feathers and run as fast as the wind. One morning, Ostrich went out to find food for the chicks. She wasn't gone long, but when she returned, they had disappeared. Ostrich searched among the bushes, calling for her lost chicks but they were nowhere to be found. Then to her horror, her absolute horror, she saw lion paw prints beside those of their tiny feet. Oh no, she cried, my poor little ones. Ostrich followed the tracks to the lion's den. There she saw her 10 chicks nestled in the lion's arms. Ostrich stepped forward bravely. Give me back my chick, she demanded. Lion stared at her and smiled. What do you mean, she purred softly. All I have are my own cubs. And she nuzzled the ten fluffy chicks with her whiskery nose. Ostrich was amazed at Lion's words. Those aren't your cubs, she said indignantly. They're ostriches and they're mine. If you think, I think you'll find that you're mistaken, growled Lion. Anybody can see there are ten perfect lion cubs. If you don't believe me, fetch the other animals and ask them. Ostrich flapped, flapped her wings helplessly. I can't rescue these poor chicks on my own, she thought. So she hurried away to fetch the other animals. She found zebra and antelope, wildebeest, giraffe and baboon. Her all listened to her story and agreed to meet her at Lion's Den later that day. Then Mongoose came along. When she heard about Ostrich's problem, Mongoose thought for a while. I think I could help you, she said. But first, there is something you must do. Of course, said Ostrich. I'll do anything to get my poor little chicks back. Near Lion's Den... There is a huge ant hill, said Mongoose. You must dig a hole under it with an entrance at the front and an exit at the back and then wait for the other animals to arrive. Ostrich found the ant hill and did exactly as Mongoose instructed. The other animals soon arrived and stood before Lion's Den. There, said Ostrich, look at those little chicks with their beautiful beaks and long necks. Tell Lion who they belong to. The animals stared at the ten fluffy little chicks and then looked at Lion. Slowly, Lion stood up. She stretched her claws and yawned, baring her sharp white teeth. Zebra shuffled his hooves uneasily. Well, in, in my opinion, it's plain to see they're lion cubs. Yes, no mistake, stuttered Antelope. Definitely not ostriches. Lion cubs without a doubt, mumbled Wildebeest. Giraffe and Baboon nodded in agreement. Ostrich couldn't believe her ears. Then Mongoose jumped up. What nonsense, she cried. Have you ever seen a mother with hair and a baby with feathers? Lion fixed her eyes on Mongoose and snarled angrily. But Mongoose only stepped a little closer. We all know those are chicks, not cubs, and they belong to Ostrich, she said. Lion is a thief! With that, Mongoose spun around and scooted towards the anthill. Lion roared with fury and leapt after her. But Mongoose dived into the hole. Ostrich had made it just in time. At once, Ostrich rushed into the den and gathered up her ten little chicks. However, Lion didn't twitch a whisker. She stood looking at the ant hill and didn't notice Mongoose run straight out and back out of the exit. 
Quietly all the animals ran away. Ostrich led her ten little chicks home and they never tired of hearing the story of the day when Lion was left staring at an empty ant hole. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. <laughs>